Today's lesson is on subtracting integers on a number line, and it covers pages 138 and 139 in your Jump Math book. Subtracting undoes addition. So it moves the opposite direction. So if we think of yesterday, we learned that when you add a positive, you go to the right. When you add a negative, you go to the left. So it means that we do the opposite when we are subtracting. So when we subtract a positive, instead of going to the right, we go to the left. And when we subtract a negative, instead of going to the left, we go to the right. For example, if we look at a, a similar question to question one, we have minus five subtract negative two. So the first thing they're going to get us to do is think about what would we do if we were adding negative two instead of subtracting. So to add a negative, we would move how many units? So the first space is going to have the number of mu units you would move, which is the number here. So it would be two units. <coughs> and the second blank makes us decide, will we move to the left or the right? So if we look, if we're adding a negative, we would move to the left. So you're going to write left on the blank. Now we're going to look at it as if we're subtracting. To subtract, we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to move still two units if we're subtracting negative two, but now our direction is going to change. So instead of going to the left, we will go to the right, which means We'll find our first number on our number line, negative 5, and we do what the second sentence tells us because this matches the equation. So we're going to move two units right, 1, 2, and this is where we end up. So minus 5 minus negative 2 is negative 3. So that is what you will do for each of the questions in number one. Question two is going to start by asking you a sequence of questions. So they're going to ask you to fill in whether you would move left or right on the number line. So if you were going to add positive three, you would move right or left three units. Well, we're going to move right three units. If you were going to add a negative, we would move left three units. So you can look at that chart that we made on the previous page if you want to help you reference. If you're going to subtract a positive, we're going to move left three units. And if you subtract a negative, we're going to move right three units. One other thing that you might notice is if you have one of each symbol, so one positive, one negative, you add a negative or you subtract a positive, we go to the left. If you have two of the same symbol, we go to the right. Question B is going to ask you to make some connections between this. So subtracting positive three gives you the same result as, so when we subtracted positive three, we went to the left. So which other one did we go to the left? When we added negative three. So x, oh, sorry, I wrote the wrong number in here. x minus positive three is the same thing as x plus negative three. So when we switch the symbol, like the operation, we also switch the sign. Question three is going to ask you to write each difference. So difference is a subtraction question as a sum, which is an adding question and then calculate. So they give us negative three minus negative five equals negative three plus so we've changed it from a subtraction to adding, which means we also need to change our symbol. So it's going to go from negative to positive. So we'll just put the number five because a positive doesn't need to have a positive in front of it. And then 
we're going to have negative 3 plus positive. So you could think of a uh, number line or you could think of integer chips. So if I have negative 3, I'm going to have 3 negatives. And if I have, I'm adding 5 positives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll have three groups that cancel each other out. My three negatives cancel out three positives, so I am left with plus two. Question four asks you to write the correct integer in each blank. So x minus negative four equals x plus what? Well, we have to look at what starts different. So x, x, those are the same, minus add. So they have changed our operation, which means we will also need to change whether our second number is negative or positive. So it will be positive 4. Question 5 is going to get you to subtract by continuing the pattern. So the top numbers you'll be able to figure out fairly easily in your head, right? So 8 minus 4 is 4. 8 minus 3 is 5. 8 minus 2 is 6, 8 minus 1 is 7, 8 minus 0 is 8. Now, the next ones might not be automatic. We didn't learn about them in our primary years. So 8 minus negative 1. But when they say to continue the pattern, look at what's happening in our answers. Each time, we're going up by 1. So when the, the difference, or the dividend, the number that you subtract by goes down by 1, the answer goes up by by one. So if we're going zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, we're still going down by one, which means our answer should go up. So eight minus negative one is nine. Eight minus negative two is 10. Eight minus negative three is 11. Eight minus negative four is 12. Then we run into an issue. We have to figure out eight minus negative 36. Well, what you might notice, if we remember, is that eight minus negative one gives you the same answer as 8 plus 1. 8 minus negative 2 gives you the same answer as 8 plus 2. 8 minus negative 3 gives you the same as 8 plus 3. 8 minus negative 4 gives you the same as 8 plus 4. So in theory, that should mean if we go 8 plus 36 is 44, that will give us the same answer for 8 minus negative 36. Question six is basically asking you to formulate what I just pointed out. So as the number being subtracted decreases, so this is the number being subtracted, as it decreases by one, what happens to the difference? And remember, the difference is the answer to a subtraction question. Well, the difference doesn't decrease, it increases by one. When you're finished today's work, make sure to mark it and fill out the Google form. Submit and mark is done. And as always, you can reach out if you need any help.